360 games tonight, congratulations. Uh, take us back to the 18 year old attacking uh, the Crocodiles, mate. Uh, what's the ride been like for you? And Yeah, it's kind of tough to reflect right now um, after the game, but um, for me, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of always been about proving myself right and not others wrong. So, um, yeah, just try and work hard. Every time I step on the floor, I think this job that I have right now is the best job in the world. Um, I tried to flip burgers at Macca's once for a promo with Townsville and I was terrible at it, so um, I thought I'd better work really hard at basketball. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, that game tonight has proved that we can play uh, alongside some of the top dogs in this league. And, um, you know, there's definitely areas that we can work on and and have kind of been a common trait throughout this season. But at the same time, it's it's fixable, which is the, the positive sign. Yeah, Justin, you know, we've spoken about the Bullets wanting to be that, that team that pride themselves on the defensive end. But tonight, 85 points by the third quarter, that's probably a score you don't think you've set up before. So can you just talk about the lapses there and keeping their sharpshooters sort of open at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Like the uh, first half, the frustration was that it was second chance points. Uh, you know, the gifts that we sort of felt we gave them. Um, you know, Rob and Chris both get off, you know, seeing three balls go down off, off an offensive rebound, and they're the controllables that we can have. And to be in the game at that point, to, to Nordo's point there, like it felt for two and a half, almost three quarters, we were, we were matching it pound for pound. and. Uh, yeah, to, for us to put up 103 points against that defense is is a positive on that end of the floor. But 100%, we don't want to give up 120. But you know, the way they shot the ball late, you know, we're, we're trying to junk things up to to claw it back. But um, you know, it's those initial breakdowns in that first half that we'll really go and look at and and be frustrated with. Mm. Yeah, how, how frustrating does it get as a coach to see you know building? And I think building and Mo had the first 10 threes that they made just between those two there. No, we have to change it. Like otherwise, we're going to keep taking losses that we we are frustrated on. And every loss we've taken so far this year, there's been the three point game that that's frustrated us. So it's something we have to change and be better with. Um, but at the same time, we're not a finished product yet, and we've said that a few times that we see continual growth. And um, you know, we need more games so we can find our rhythm. And you know, that's what our group needs right now. Is you know, we get a double header weekend next weekend, which we can't wait for. Um, and continue to, to challenge uh, ahead of us. And you know, right now we miss our quarter target by one win. You know, we reset that now and we go get into this next quarter of the season for us. And you know, we catch one up, we're, we're right where we need to be by the midpoint. So that's where our mindsets go. There's so much growth for us. We know our good's good enough, um, but you know, we, we definitely need to reduce the gaps in our play. Yeah, Norto, on that point of the, the, the quarter point of the season here, do you feel like you're, it might be too early to Uh, I think it's hard to find a rhythm um, out there when you're playing kind of one a week. Um, you could come off a really good win, you just want to play again straight away, and you got to sit there and wait 10 days. So, But again, that's all out of our control. Um, yeah, we can just focus on what's next. So you must be very keen for two in a row, you know, and double that up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's what we do as professionals. We want to play basketball, we want to play games in, in you know, good, fun environments, and that's what Tassie is, and that's our next one. Justin, how would you sum up what happened in the last the last three minutes? Did you know what was happening once the power went out, and, and what what happened over the next half an hour? Uh, yeah, like you know, very random sort of thing to occur. I think you know, um, the officials in the building were doing a great job to keep us up to speed with what was going on. The challenge was probably no <laughs> anyone really knew. So um, you know, we had visions of us being able to have the greatest comeback ever and it didn't quite play out that way for Nordos 350 but um, you know again Nordo just mentioned about controlling what we can control that's all we could do in that moment you know we had to get frantic and, and desperate in that moment and you know the margin still kind of stayed the same so didn't achieve what we wanted in that patch but uh, yeah just another one that we'll, we'll remember when we're all said and done. How fair, it didn't look great 
wasn't at the, at the time. Do you, do you have any idea at the moment? No, I relieved that, uh, like I thought it might have been worse than what it is. It, it's just definitely a, a roll to um, ankle at this stage. How long he's out for, we're not quite sure. Um, too early to tell on that. But, yeah, relief for him that it was that. He was having a great impact in the game at that moment. And, um, yeah, just very unfortunate for us, the timing of that one. But, um, like, he's an absolute pro. I know that you know, he'll be doing everything right already to, to make sure he's available as soon as possible. Obviously, giving up the 120 points is something you're not going to be happy with, but did you like what you were able to do at the offensive end? I mean, you got over 100 points. You, all three imports had their, had their moments, especially Gunza. He, he did catch fire there at times, and, and Casey had, had his moments. Did you, did you like what you were able to do against their, their defence at the, the offensive end? Yeah, I guess the 120, I think, is always a little skewed when you're trying to speed up the game and, um, you know, we had to gamble a bit to try and try and get back. You know, the thing I'll look at is, you know, where we were at at that two and a half quarter mark and I feel like we were right there and where we needed to be. It was just moments where we had six possessions in a row there where we, we just came up empty and that's the thing we've got to fix because that's where a team like Melbourne's good enough to push that score line out. Um, you know, they shot the three ball remarkably well and um, yes it's something we identified we needed to, to take care of and that's what we'll put into review like we said about second chance points and and how we wanted to attack them did we do it often enough um, when we got to what we wanted to we, we were able to convert the way we, we definitely had envisaged so uh, yeah that's a, a step forward and a growth for us in understanding that yeah we do have advantages on the floor we just got to find ways to nullify theirs more no, no, this is always going to be a memorable, memorable night for a lot of reasons. Um, the way the last three minutes went and ended up lasting about 45 minutes is probably not the way you thought you would, would remember it, but you, you won't forget it at least. Yeah, for sure. I really got to soak it up um, for an extra <laughs> half an hour or whatever it was. But, um, yeah, obviously not the way you want it to go. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a game of basketball and it's, it's, there's no I in team, so it's not really about me. Uh, specifically, so um, yeah, just a little frustrated with the result, but at the same time, um, you know, proud of the boys and how, you know, we can compete in this league. And um, I think as long as we believe that, um, we'll be in a good spot. Yeah, the mustache might not be coming in just yet, but at least you got another another battle wound. Yeah, no, the moustache is getting there very slowly. I thought it would be coming along a lot quicker than what it is, but um, it is there. I swear, uh, it's just you can't see it from distance. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be the same unless you had a bit of a cut or a bruise to, to your nose, would it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, my modelling career went out the door ages ago. <laughs> um, Justin, are you, you touched on it before. Are you glad <coughs> to now have two games to prepare for next weekend? You've played eight games in eight weeks now, finally you've got two games next week to prepare for. Is that is that going to be when you learn a lot more about your team once you can get in a bit more of a, of a rhythm? Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, we've had some really good practice weeks and then there's been weeks that have definitely been too long and we're, we're just itching for the game to come around. And, um, you know, like where our best learning is going to come now, I feel, is not playing ourselves, it's playing other teams and, and you know, getting battle tested in the league. And so that's where I'm excited that the games will come a little quicker now. Um, you know, but the reality is we're not looking past Tassie. Um, you know, can't wait to get off this to go watch the end of that game to start preparing. Um, you know, that's where our mindset has to go first because our first challenge is you know, try and get back to 500. And once we do that, then we can start thinking about climbing and we can't get near that unless we take care of Tassie next week. Just lastly, would you expect Deng to be available for, for next weekend? Yeah, I really hope so. Like, um, was always kind of, this game was the one we'd circled. Um, just wasn't quite at the strength point we needed him to be. So, um, yeah, being able to integrate him, obviously Emmett, we, we chose to not play tonight as he only just got to, to us this week, but another week of practice with him, um, you know, he'll be able to be integrated as well. So, you know, for the first time this year, we'll be touch wood um, as whole as we can be, planning on Bear um, being there as well. So, you know, that's an exciting thing for our group that we can continue to, to really roll to find um, and get as much as we can out of the group, um, one through 12. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.